are doing we stopped. it. We're on the way to Zagreb, back to Ljubljana. And um, I thought, I'm a bit thirsty. I thought I'd get myself a drink. Just a little one. Or maybe, maybe not, maybe a big one. Because that's what they seem to have. I thought we had big drinks at home, but hey. Come to Croatia, get yourself a drink. On our Cosmos tour today, we've arrived in Zagreb. We are only here for one day, but it should be a great day. I've heard a lot about this place. It's the capital and the largest city of Croatia, and it's in the north of the country along the Sava River. It's at the end of slopes of the Mednavista mountain, or Bear Mountain, if you've heard that. And it stands near the international border between Croatia and Slovenia. So it's between those two. If you look on your map, it gives you an idea of where we are. In 2021, it had a population of nearly 800,000. And if you add all the uh, surrounding towns and areas, it's slightly above 1 million. So there is a lot of people here. And we're gonna see a lot of them today because we're in the main town of Zagreb. We're gonna visit the old town. And uh, here we are, you can see the trams coming through, great tram network, and uh, okay, let's go from here. So the boys are ready to go by the look of it, and uh, Zagreb here is the most important transport hub in Croatia. So here, Central Europe, the Mediterranean and the Southeast Europe, they all meet and it makes Zagreb the, uh, the, middle, the middle guy. Um, and it, the, the city is known for its diverse economy. So it's high quality of living, the museums, the sporting and entertainment events, and the major branches of Zagreb's economy include high tech industries, and the service centre. So the buildings and the architecture here in Zagreb I just love. There's the art pavilion. Uh, would have loved more time to go in there actually but uh, there's so much to see I wouldn't mind coming back here and that's a good thing about these tours. You might spend a day somewhere but you know uh, where you want to come back to. So we're just walking through Zirinjevac uh, Park, beautiful fountains and monuments and you can see people there just relaxing and very green very green now we're on the way to we're on the way to the funicular now a lot of towns have funiculars I've been in loads of them but this is um, it has an unusual honor of reigning as the shortest funicular in the world and uh, as we pass we see the children here doing some sort of a display of music and and dancing and like every other European town there are great buskers uh, I'm not sure how much they they make <laughs> whether they're that good but uh, I enjoy them and you can see the, tr the trams running along there they're just everywhere so easy to get around here in Zagreb so as we uh, walk further up we're going to get to this funicular and uh, it links the upper town with old Zagreb to the lower town in a ride that takes about well less than 60 seconds to complete <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway beats walking up the hill uh, and you can uh, look for the station and it's only a short detour of the bustling uh, Lika Boulevard that we're going to go on and yeah more buskers they're everywhere So we're here in Zagreb and um, we're going to get the funicular up the top. Wait till I get there. Okay. How are you? We're going to the top. Zagreb. <laughs> if we don't make it. Come for us. Yeah. Don't leave us behind. We'll be at the top. Yeah. Where we belong. The top. <laughs> 
And there's Antia. She was our guide for the day. Great help to us, getting us around and telling us all the information she had. And there's the tra there's the uh, funicular. Up it goes, so fast. Before you know it, well, you're there. And there's one coming down. They just cross all day, all day, all day. So we just got the tram up, the uh, funicular rather. I keep calling it a tram. Uh, we just got it up and we uh, walked our way back down to the town. But before that, we visited the old town and uh, we'll see that shortly, but these little funiculars, uh, okay, they might be the, the quickest in the world, but it's kind of fun. So give it a go if you're in Zagreb. I must say the view is spectacular and I don't think you get a better view from anywhere in Zagreb uh, apart from on this this little funicular and you'll see in a moment when we actually get out and we're at the top in there. Glad I'm out. But we are at the top. Let's have a look. We'll say whatever we want because ooh, we're in Zagreb and we're lost and we love it and there's a million school children coming our way. Oh boy. Yes, this is Tori and this is I, Travel <laughs> Bug Sue. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Everyone wants to say hello. 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 So hello. Everyone, everyone wants to talk to us. We can't hello. help it. Hello. 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 Tell them who they are. <laughs> but we've lost the tour anyway, it doesn't matter. It's all gone. Yeah. Hi! We'll find our way. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. They're so cute. Kids are cute when you give them back. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to keep them. You just want to borrow them or something. That's right. Like, Especially these ones. From afar. Oh, there's oh, been an injury. Car. you got to reverse that. Look at that vehicle. Here we go. This car, we're gonna get run over. But... <laughs> There's some cool cars. See what it says. That is gorgeous. Look at that. We're gonna drive it away. <laughs> okay. No, we're not. Let's take it. That looks like the interior of our car when I was a child. Look how big the steering wheel is. Yeah, that's unreal. Yeah. That This is all original. A bit like myself. <laughs> that, that's nice. <laughs> Look at the trunk, how cute. <laughs> that's
So we're here now at the Zagreb Tunnel or the Greek Tunnel or the World War II Tunnel, whichever you'd like to call it. Uh, it was back in 1943, fearing the Allied bombing, that the Prime Minister ordered this uh, bomb shelter, which actually that's what it is. And the sum of 141 kruna was allocated for the planning and the construction. But unfortunately, the planning blew out a bit because they wanted to construct it in 90 working days and that didn't happen. It rose out to 490 uh, million kuna. So, um, and that was partly because of the wartime inflation. And it was eventually opened in 1944. This tunnel uh, is 350 metres long. It's got about four entrances, although one was blocked. And I'll tell you something, there's also a toilet in here. And no, no, it's not a drain, it's not a drain pot, it's a toilet. So that's probably the best travel hack you got from me today. So we're just about to enter the old town and we're going to look, have some lunch here. Uh, more buskers, <laughs> see, young and old, they're everywhere. Uh, Zagreb has four separate seasons, as we do, and summers are usually warm, sometimes really hot. In late May, uh, which we'll wear in, uh, it gets significantly warmer, temperatures start rising. And it often becomes very warm or even hot with occasional afternoon and evening thunderstorms. So heat waves can occur, um, but they're short lived. Temperatures rise above 30, 30 degrees Celsius, and that's 86 if you're in the Fahrenheit. And um, that's during summertime. And the rainfall's also abundant in, uh, in that time. But here we are, heaps and heaps of uh, restaurants, cafes, pubs uh, to choose from. Yeah, it's getting warm. We're looking for something with some aircon because it's like it's really warm. And uh, we'll just keep strolling along here. Uh, Nikki and I have um, found each other, and we're off to have something to eat. So it looks like a few other people are, are choosing to do that too. But eventually find something and we can relax just for a moment. Now there's actually lots to look at along this walk so it probably slowed us down a bit but very interesting and loads of souvenir shops by the way if you're looking for a souvenir you won't be you won't be um, disappointed but all these sort of things I loved looking and reading and um, they're very much into their sport here as I said earlier and yeah look pizzas <laughs> pasta it's, it's a little bit Italian I must say it's a little bit Italian in Croatia, but it's nearly lunchtime. We'll find it. We'll get there. <laughs> and Nikki and I are going to eat lunch. And look, look, look where else would we go? <laughs> Woo! Well, I'm Travel Bug Sue. I hope you've enjoyed my review here of the beautiful Zagreb. This was the last stop of our Cosmos tour and I will put all that information in the description below if you want to book this trip. But for now, stay safe and we'll see you in the next review.